Hello, I'm coming from Swedish Alternative Television. My name is Henning Witter and uh, I'm very interested to hear how the situation is today, the 13th of April 2019. We are on the Place de la République, in the center of France. It is no place from the French Revolution. And I would be very um, happy if you could tell me some words what you are thinking about here and how it's going on. Okay, so I'm from a small group of yellow jackets uh, in the suburbs of Paris, where there are still a lot of factories, so mostly factory workers in our group. And uh, like the movement has been evolving a lot uh, those past uh, five months, and we have had ups and downs. Like there were times where we were just uh, having in mind to keep up the movement because uh, like there was there was the Christmas break, and then there was. Uh, like um, the announcement of the Grand Débat, which is uh, the thing that Macron announced that everyone should like just interact and will find a solution just by hearing out the citizens and whatever he had in mind. And um, now there will be the answers of that uh, Grand Débat that he organized. And I think it will be like in December where he announced uh, that there will be an augmentation of the SMIC, which is the minimal uh, revenue. And uh, he kind of pretended that it will um, raise uh, by 100 euros, which did not happen actually because it was something he had already in mind, like to redistribute money that he had kept, uh, like it was in his, like, in, in his um, plan, in his program. And now it's like about the, the same case, the Prime Minister Edouard Philippe, he announced that um, in fact the Grand Débat gave them uh, like uh, a thumbs up and that it was mostly their program that had to be applicated that's like uh, to raise the revenues they had to close all ser social uh, public service and everything and that's mostly what they are going to do and announce but uh, we'll see what happens Wednesday because he's going to speak on national television to like say what political issue he wants to give to the movement but I don't think it will stop uh, the movement but on the contrary people will try uh, and uh, like again respond to the non-responses of Macron and I hope there will be a lot of people in the streets next Saturday and the Saturday after. And there have been a lot of violence, we could read in Swedish alternative newspapers that the police sometimes acted very violently. Yeah, mostly, yeah. I think it's like the instructions they were given because mostly the demonstrations were not violent. Like at the beginning, sure, there was like a lot of agitation, but which was not like open violence where people were coming here to break. It's just that after a certain time, the people who were yellow jackets at first were those who never uh, were in unions, who never did any strike, nothing, and they were the, the first mobilized, so obviously they were confronted for the first time to like state violence and that the state responds politically only by sending its police uh, against the demonstrators and that's like the experience they have had so obviously they reacted also in a violent way they tried to resist to that uh, aggressivity and now what we see is that it just continues on, there is still quite some violence going on, uh, like the police sometimes attacks for absolutely no reason, like nothing is happening, and less in Paris, because I guess there, there are more medias or something, I don't know why, and in, like in other parts of France, it's a bit more uh, like openly violent, they just like hit demonstrators in the street for no reason, just because they are wearing the, the jacket. In Sweden too, uh, the, 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 the black the people uh, with black clothes and, and flags with skulls and bones, they are often financed by a state or a secret service uh, I think to make trouble and then the police has a reason to act. Maybe there is a bit of that, but I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if um, it's not a bit complotist. I think it's like real um, extreme left. Uh, financed by the secret services. I don't think so. Like I, I think there is there is one extreme left and the other extreme left and like those guys are like 
pseudo anarchists, I don't know, it's like the autonome movement. And we have seen them in all the strikes, all the like mobilizations there has been. Like last year in the uh, railway worker strike, they were also there and they were just like breaking the cortege. Maybe we'll translate that, I don't know how it's called in English, cortege. Yeah, like groups of marchers, I don't know. Yeah. And um, it's mostly that, I don't know if they're financed by the state or whatever. I think they really do something that they believe in is that if uh, they are very violent in the demonstrations, it will create a situation of uh, emeute. I don't know how to say emeute. In an alternative media in Germany, they had a theory that the movement uh, uh, from the Jello uh, West instigated initially by the Americans because uh, they don't like that Macron wants to have an own army in Europe and wants to leave NATO. Have you heard something about that? I've heard that, but I don't really believe in those uh, theories. I think it's just like activists who try to like apply that theory in a movement and I don't think it's a good theory because one, it doesn't work and we just uh, should like be with the people when they're unhappy about stuff and like now it's like um, something that's very strongly in the head of like all the French people that we cannot live with uh, 1,000 euros. What, how do you pay rent and food and for you take care of your kids? And it's mostly that that we have to support and for people to organize by themselves and decide for themselves how they want to deal with their movement. And that's a bit what's happening like next uh, last weekend. I don't know if you have heard, there was uh, the national coordination of Yellow Jackets in Saint Nazaire. Yes, they went from the center to Nanterre. It was a march from the center of Paris to Nantes. No, I was speaking about like a, a national coordination of the Yellow Jackets that took place in Saint Nazaire in Bretagne. Okay. And there were like eight, 800 uh, Yellow Jackets who came from all over France to discuss about the movement and to see what what can we coordinate to have like uh, actions happening the same day at the same time all over France and stuff like that. So I think that's mainly what's going to happen in the movement is that uh, what's happening? No, I just want to control that the camera is working. It's working. And they told me today it's uh, very much in Toulouse in southern France. More people gathering than here in Paris. Have you heard about that? Yeah, there was a national call for people to meet in Toulouse. Like uh, it has happened many times before that there were there were national calls to march in Paris. And now uh, it's Toulouse. Well, uh, why not? I think it's a good thing for people to meet in one place. Yes, I think so too. It should be in the whole country and in whole Europe. Yeah, well, it's true, it's true. And I think um, all workers all over the world are a bit in the same situation. That's why we have seen, like, even in Israel, there were marches of yellow jackets. Yes. Because I think, like, all, all people who work, like, all the working class is concerned by the same problems and yes. the same exploitation. So. Yes, in Sweden also and uh, everywhere, uh, actually. Are you arguing, men, have, do you have arguments against the banks? I saw here a sign uh, or uh, critics against the Central Bank of France or private banks. I think like the arguments against the banks and everything, it's something that has been put up a lot by extreme right to say that like, well, banks, Jews, so it's a movement against the Jews who control the banks, I think. And we are a lot to think that, that the problem are not the banks, but like the big, uh, bosses of the big uh, companies who actually control everything which is like factually economically uh, so sociologically we all work for them and I think that's mainly the enemy we have to point the government works for them they try to put laws that arrange all the big companies and that's mainly that I think the banks is just a way to like not point the right uh, the true enemy okay yeah interesting yeah, What's would you finally uh, uh, like to say something? Well, thank you for coming from that far away and it gives us the feeling that internationally all workers can do things together and fight together against the same uh, like problem that we all have, that we, it's difficult for us uh, to survive and we want to live. Yes, and thank you for your courage. Thank you. And that you gave the interview. Thanks. Bye. 
Bye.